okay okay now uh, where is my zoom this is class okay okay now we are here na so here try to understand that mm, okay mic is open uh, regarding that is very important because na this much of class i have conducted that is to be put in youtube that is will be available to all of you who never missed the classes okay now okay now we need to uh, as per this t1 t2 t3 we need to make them as t2 t3 okay now your three threads have started okay three th threads started okay three threads created okay now let us see what happened here let how the code will be executed we want to do some what miracles here that is what what is happening here it is giving error where is that error that is very important huh? so C cls cls means clear screen huh? screen will be clear then after again it is giving error okay we need to check back that where is that code huh? code error is where in 33 line is there the compiler stating that 33 line is error where is 33 line in 33 line system dot over the state of thread yeah, after yeah. object creation t dot okay this is the error why error c t there is no any thread t there is no any t thread okay we have the names of the thread t1 t2 t3 so you need to give the t1 here okay okay then after what here also so once the compiler indicating underlining this red mark now it means uh, you need to check back that okay now that is red mark if i remove the one so you will get the red mark here okay so you need to find out that otherwise compiler indicates that wherever the errors are there so as a programmer we need to be friendly with the compiler uh, because you need to understand the language of compiler what are the compiler stating so you need to understand that levels otherwise you, know, you will be in somewhat uh, troubles okay now see only three welcome means one thread uh, one thread uh, execute this uh, welcome statement um, another thread this one this one this one okay this uh, hello word that um, executed by i told you that the main thread which is uh, uh, which executes the main method okay what about this new means the state of thread after object creation so that line of code where i have kept here uh, the state of thread after object creation this this is where for this uh, thread one no? thread one i i put for uh, i want to get the state of t1 t1 okay so this line of code i kept after thread creation t1 thread created two uh, t2 thread created three threads created so i want to get the status of t1 thread okay so it has given what it is now in new new state whenever you pass the this get uh, get state after start method okay thread is started so you will get the runnable state runnable state so runnable state is the part of active state means now your thread whichever is in object after object creation now it is in new state so now it is pushed to put into what active state active state i told you that active state has uh, two ways uh, two states runnable state and uh, running state runnable state means now thread is in runnable state means it is waiting to get the cpu in runnable state means so whenever cpu gets so it will be put in what running state means running state means the cpu um, allocated for thread now once three p is allocated somewhat time will be given to the thread within the uh, within the thread given time the um, thread to be finished okay after that it needs to release the cpu because uh, other uh, chance chances to be given to the other threads okay now let us come what so actually so a little bit of code i want to do here that is what you know you try to understand here i want to get the uh, current thread so if you want to uh, current thread thread is this is the syntax thread here after that you need to keep a variable uh, suppose where is a variable is equal thread dot current thread already it is supporting us because that is a very useful ide 
uh, Visual Studio Code because it gives, it supports you. Now, this method of code I have written, current thread, this is the static method of the thread class because I have used, I have used thread class name. I told you that once any uh, method that is being called by thread uh, class name, so that is static method. So why I have used this method to get the, which, uh, I have three threads are there, multiple threads are there, multi-threading. So out of that, which thread is executing its name, current thread, okay? So that is stored in where variable. So now this variable, you pass this variable where here, you pass the variable here, okay? Where plus, plus means concatenation. You see what will be the result we will get here. Okay, so this is giving what? This is giving some word. This welcome printed by what thread? Zero thread. Zero thread is what? Zero thread means what? T1 thread. So if you want to get the name of that thread, you simply write the code word here. Uh, after okay. you, you, uh, that is what you call this, you copy this total. And uh, you paste here, you paste. Now you, the state of the thread, you change this line of code as a, this string type of data, the thread name, the uh, T1 thread name, uh, T1 thread name. So to get this T1 dot get name, you need to pass the here, get name, okay? This is okay. Now you execute this one. Now what is happening here? Try to understand that. So try to understand. Thread, your T1 thread name is equal to zero, thread zero. So here, initially what happened? Thread one, this welcome executed by thread one. So this welcome executed by thread zero. Okay. Then where is the third third thread? Ah, this welcome. This welcome executed by okay. Next two three threads na t1 name is zero, t2 name is one, t3 name is two. What is a what about this five? This is the default priority. Okay, default priority. Suppose if you want to see the default priority, you copy this one. What is the default priority of uh, threads? You paste here, even dot get priority. All the threads uh, default priority is what? Priority, priority, okay, this is okay. Now this, now if you want to get the, all the threads default priority is five. What is the thread, this five na? name, you need to change this as priority, otherwise uh, it's not suitable for here, priority. Okay. okay, now come down. So here, what is happening here, the T1 thread priority is five. Okay, so this five, five, it, whenever, na? so you put this code here, uh, current thread, the current thread will give the priority of the thread and name of the thread, okay? After that, um, whatever the statement, because this la total line of code print uh, welcome statement that is in your thread. This is total is part of your thread, no? So under this thread, this welcome statement will be executed. So uh, this current thread statement is in thread. So that's why it will be taken. So next to what uh, we have found that this is new once condition, runnable condition. So we need to get what uh, one is terminated, terminated when the terminated state. So you need to pass what after T1 dot start. Okay. Mm. T1 dot start. Whenever you pass, okay, it is giving okay. Where should I pass? Okay, here you write the code as you copy these all. Okay, 
uh, you paste here. Okay, that is what uh, you paste. Okay, you change this code as join. Okay, join. Join is one more method. Join is one more method of your thread class. Okay, join is one more method of your thread class. Okay, what it does, what is the role of uh, join method? In the last session, we tried to understand synchronized keyword, synchron thread synchronization. Within that thread, thread synchronization, I told you that threads will be uh, executed in order. Okay. So for that, we can use this join method also. But suppose if I have th a thousand threads, that moment for every thread, I need to put this join method. So to overcome that, uh, synchronization by synchronized keyword. I have conducted the class on Friday and Saturdays. So I have kept that videos on uh, YouTube. You can check there. Okay. By this join method, what happens? Let us see. What is happening here? By this, by this thread one. Okay. So it is to be implemented very very interesting manner. You keep here, you put some word code that is loop. You put the line loop here, int i is equal to zero, i less than equal to four. That moment, na, it will be executed very properly. Then after this is terminated, i plus plus, this is the condition I have written here. Until the loop condition satisfies, loop prints this welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, for this, what I want to do this some numbers. Okay, okay, let us see. A welcome will be printed. Okay, let us see. Okay, okay, this is what happening. A line of code. It is where somewhat error it is. Okay, okay. Now come down. You clears the screen. You run this code once again. So then I can find out that where is that error. Otherwise, no. So error is where. It is stating in which line is error, couldn't find or load main class T cycle. Why? Why it is not able to main class is our T cycle, na? So main method, it is giving error. It is underlining here. This main method underlined. Okay, this is error here. Okay, why? Where is that? You 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 terminate this one, then you can get hmm. E1 dot join, T2 dot join, join method. This is okay. This is okay. Okay. Why? Because if you keep them in comment section, then what happened? Then it will be okay. Then still, okay. It is not by this. Okay. These are not by this. Okay. Just. Uh, Main string arguments throws exception system dot out. Something happened here. It was running before that. Okay, now it is executed. Now there is what? Now you come down. Where is there? T cycle. Couldn't find our load main class T cycle. This is the main class for me, na? Okay, something happened. Any braces we have? Uh, this is flower brace, flower brace. This okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just I have written this line of code now. Hmm, that's why. Okay, three braces I have. Try to understand. So that's why you know it is very important. No, you need to understand to trace out the error is where. So that moment now you need to check back that. Where you have, if any new command, new code you have added, just this is the new code I have added. So that's why for this now, this for loop open brace is here. So where is the close brace? That is very important. Now that's why you need to check. This is for your now implemented class. This is for your method. This is for for loop. So it is just I have written. So open brace is here. So you need to keep one more brace here. That is what the error. Already the compiler is stating that this line is okay. For this, for this method, there is no any brace here. You need to pass the brace here. That is it. Okay, then it will be uh, executed. Now you come down. 
uh, you remove this comment after that see your main string na main string that line underline underline it is not it is omitted here now you remove this comments here because why i have kept comments maybe this may be that's why i want to check back then where is the error now it is okay now you compile this code uh, what is what is happening still okay now it is executed huh? so now now welcome executed by what thread name 2 this welcome executed by 0 this is 0 so to overcome this na to overcome this synchronization an order will be proper order so once thread is uh, in synchronization what happened once one thread is executed na starting execution it is locked uh, that thread execution until and unless it is not finished na next thread will not be permitted so here threads are not in order okay two thread is executing welcome uh, randomly zero is uh, zero thread first thread executing welcome again here one thread executing like what so if i chase this code for word if welcome in place of welcome if i have write what i simply i so then what happened okay let us see so okay why 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 where is where plus i oh i need to put some separators here separators then again concatenation okay that is what so you get what let us see okay so now what is happening try to understand that first uh zero 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 these three zeros printed by thread one thread two thread zero so in synchronization what happened one thread will be executed zero thread continuously run this all number zero to five zero one two three four next thread will be uh, executed so zero one two three four synchronization okay uh, by synchronized keyword so next i want to i want to do some word miracle that is what one is uh, i have uh, told you how to get the your uh, thread is in new condition once thread is created until unless it is not started by the start method it would, would be in new condition, new state. After that, whenever you start the, whenever you start that uh, threads. So I have written the statement here after starting of the three meds, three, uh, three threads. I have written the statement uh, to get the state of T1 thread. So it has given new state, no, a runnable state. Uh, now runnable statement thread is looking for the CPU. Okay, waiting for CPU allocation mm, then uh, i want to get what here i need to write what's code same here t one dot join okay now you uh, this you copy this one you copy this one get name no? you guess get state get state is okay if you, we want to get the status of the status of the thread now you copy you put this here you paste here you paste now you this statement, this is what you we will get the, the state of thread um, after join, then after what happened, join, uh, I think it is terminated. Huh? We will get the terminated status. Uh, the state of thread, okay, let us see. Okay. You execute this one, you will get what. Okay, terminated status. Huh? Terminated means what you know, your thread is terminated. Means thread is what in terminated means thread executed. After thread executed, so there is no any task for thread. So that thread is uh, terminated and it is not in the system. Okay, so that is what uh, I have covered. How many states I told you that? One is that new state, um, runnable state that is under your active active state okay so runnable hmm, that is what uh, terminated state we need to get what uh, time waiting state so how to get the time waiting state you need to do what somewhat do miracle code you need to write the code here where should we write the code hmm, after this thread started hmm, okay you need to you copy this code 
which code try block na you copy this total try and catch block you copy okay because no always that sleep sleep method it is the static method of thread class that is to be kept under try try block okay so i want to get that waiting condition time the waiting so because now we have given 1000 uh, milliseconds na no? so it will give the time waiting okay so we want to know that status of the thread where should i pause these values after termination no here not it is executed uh, it is terminated you will get you will pass the code here you paste here so here what is happening here try and try block thread sleep 1000 milliseconds i have passed here static method so now let us see what is happening here okay it is done we have not so you need to get some what print statement here na so after this catch okay you need to pass uh, that is print statement uh, print statement is where it is the get state okay get state uh. there is that get state you copy this one you pass after this try catch block you pass you paste here so now what happen the state of thread now okay why because you now here we have passed the sleep method okay for 1000 milliseconds so then what happen for you are, you are requesting for the uh, status of what t1 t1 okay you will get the status of waiting condition where is that where is that terminated terminated runnable thread uh, new runnable 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 you are getting runnable but uh, you want to get the terminated state na so here where is that even dot get state after this is passed way okay uh, try catch block started try catch block catch 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 then after you pass t1 dot get state uh, okay this is okay we want to get this one i want to pass mm, where should i pass this system thread sleep na this is uh, after start okay this is it is to be passed <clears throat> t1 dot jid if i pass there it will give okay i want to give this as uh, suppose if you keep this in comment section okay then after if you pa if you copy this one okay you copy if you pass here then what happen you paste then try to get what is that okay thread status here whether you will get terminate two are terminated ha huh? okay so not here that is this is to be passed mm, you change this one as okay thread 2 this is for thread 2 okay next what this join join you want, you come down here you paste you even dot state we need to get this is it is sleeping na no? uh which thread sleep catch catch now if i pass this line of code you put yes now under this if i pass here then paste so catch okay now let, whether it will be executed otherwise it will go terminated but i want to get that is what uh, after sleep method sleep okay if here thread is sleeping na no? thread is sleeping here if i pass the value here so paste you want dot get status there uh, time waiting so this is the right way okay? 
uh, we need to pass. Okay, try to understand, my dear students, we have found the timed waiting. Okay, now the status of the state of thread is timed waiting. Timed waiting means here we have passed somewhat time, 1000 milliseconds. Okay, and this sleep method, that is the method of thread class, and we have passed 1000 milliseconds, means for certain amount of time that um, T1, T1 thread, we are, uh, we want to get the state of that. That's why T1 thread put in somewhat sleep time. That time is what? Waiting time, timed waiting. How much of time we have given here? Thousand. Now this T1 thread um, waiting for, waiting for thousand milliseconds. So thousand millisecond allotted for this uh, T1 thread for waiting period after 1000 millisecond is uh, over, now the, the thread is uh, reactivated by the, by your uh, thread scheduler. One thread scheduler, okay, it will allocate the time for the threads. So within that stipulated time, threads to be executed and release the uh, resources for the another thread, okay. So one is that, new a runnable state we have tried to find out time waiting terminated four states so if i can do any somewhat change okay some more methods i want to show here which are related with the threads one is that i have uh, taken that thread ids thread ids okay thread ids where is that thread name thread pr you copy this code okay you copy this and you pass here with some paste. Okay, now this is what thread ID. Oh, I told you that thread ID, this is what thread ID. If you want to get the thread ID, you need to get, you need to put this get ID method. I capital always D. One is that. Next, you come down, you paste one more that is what thread name okay thread name thread name that is next t1 dot get priority that is here you need to use get name okay next one is that next is what one more paste these are all methods of the thread class okay next is what paste thread priority after that thread id thread name thread whether thread status, whether thread is running or dead, okay, we will get the uh, boolean value status. You need to pass the method of, you need to call the method of is alive method. Is alive. This is the method uh, we need to use here. Okay. ID name status, get priority. One is that, one more is priority. Already we have checked that, I think. So, however, we will write same thread priority, get priority. Okay. So, we can, we can change the name also. That is by set name. Okay. Set name. Okay. That will be checked later. Okay. Now, let us see what is happening here. So now try to understand thread. We are looking for thread T1. Na? So once three threads are there, thread uh, T1 name is zero. Next thread is one like that. So thread status is false. False means uh, is alive. Is alive because that thread is terminated. Na? That is because it is executed. So then once thread is uh, executed, it's uh, boolean value is false. Means thread is alive. No, it is false. False means thread finished. Okay. So what is the priority? So uh, always the thread priority is default is five, max is 10, minimum priority is one. Okay. And if you can change the name of the thread also, uh, that is what, suppose here thread zero, no, I, I can change this zero as my name. Okay. Vasu. For that, you paste the same. Okay, so now you change the name. Of, this is what thread T1 name name after 
changed after name after changed okay after changed okay now uh, let us do what g1 uh, this is what set name get name get name okay this is the method but before that we need to do that t1 dot get set name this method we need to use here t1 dot set name set name by set name set name has a argument we need to pass as a value okay within the bracket we need to pass uh, set name it is giving error name so we need to pass as the value here so within this string we need to pass a string here that's why it is giving error okay here it is clearing stating that uh, we need to pass the string what the string you need to pass here my name is Vasu. suppose if i want to give i want to give the thread name as Vasu. okay after that uh, this printout, this get name, it will run out and it will give the name of the thread name will be changed. So initially thread name was zero. Now your thread is what? The thread name is what? Zero. Then after thread name changed as was. Okay. Initially your thread is what? Here thread zero, zero, zero. Okay. So now your thread name changed to Vasu. Okay, next word, um, priority change. So for that also one command is there, that is word e1 dot set priority. This is the, these are methods of your word to set priority bracket. So, Okay, you come down here, you remove this. In this bracket, you need to pass some argument as a integer. Integer, okay. That integer value, okay. Normally default priority is five, but if you want to change this priority as 10, okay. Then after priority set to 10, then you take a printout after priority, change it you you copy this one okay you copy you paste here next you that is what you change this get name hmm. okay it's not okay na? it's not looking it's not looking. set priority priority you take this one which is what uh, get priority get priority set okay this line of code you copy this one which is very suitable for that copy and you paste here okay you paste then you change this t1 thread priority after change after change what okay this is what now you get priority okay you run the code now what is happened here all the threads are run now. This is okay. This is okay. This is okay. After check, after changed. So that five na five uh, priority changed also. Default priority display. Okay, your thread uh, max priority whatever I want to change, but it is not okay. What is this T one thread ID? T one thread ID is what? Okay, ID, ID, okay. Every thread will, uh, it has uh, somewhat ID, that is eight, okay. Every thread has somewhat ID, that is what 80. So then what I need to time, I think it will be closed. Still, still I want to do somewhat anything that is to be implemented in the code, anything I can explain, uh, which is very useful to you, this is what. Every every time now, whenever you want to keep this sleep method, that is a static method of thread that must be kept in try and try block because there may be chance of exception error may be occurs. That's why 
okay but here i i studied somewhere else join method also that is to be kept in uh, try and try block but here i have used it but it is not giving any error maybe that is old um, maybe some word old jdk i don't actually so here if it is executing that means it is not to be put in somewhere uh, waits for this thread to die join waits for this thread to die and invo invocation of this method behaves okay leave it that so now it is okay so next word uh, wait condition how many states we have whether we have tried to understand that new state displayed runnable means that is active will not active state will not display that it is runnable state 